Hi, this is Michael, and this is a quick review of the Southwire Model 14090T Multimeter. This is it right here. Uh, it comes with a really good user guide, I must say. It's pretty complete, and uh, so that is very nice to get this. Also, it does come with a case. Uh, it's not the greatest quality case, but it's better than no case at all. And as long as you're careful with the zipper, this case will probably serve you pretty well. Uh, it also comes with uh, several other things that I'll mention. Obviously, you've got your probes here. Uh, one of the only complaints I have with a multimeter is that there are some protective caps here that slide on and off. Uh, this particular cap just protects you from accidentally hitting, except for the very tip hitting something that could give you a short circuit or whatever. But the, uh, the black one is very, very loose and comes off extremely easily, whereas the red one is pretty snug. So I'm not worried about the red one at all. Uh, but the black one, the negative, is uh, not good. In any case, these uh, plug very securely into the multimeter. And I did notice, though, you really do need to make sure it's seated properly. Uh, otherwise, you may not get a good connection. Then it does come with a temperature probe as well. Uh, you do need to use this plug as well. So the temperature probe plugs into this and then this in turn gets uh, connected to the multimeter here. And this will give you a very accurate reading. This is going to be great for uh, HVAC technicians if you need to get the reading of uh, cold or hot air out of a duct. Uh, or if you just want to check the temperature of your freezer or refrigerator, you know, just stick the probe in there and let it settle for a few minutes and you'll get a very accurate reading. Uh, I love the backlit display on this. It's very even, very good quality. And uh, then I do also like the fact that I can switch the mode dial one-handed. The multimeter is not spinning around on me. I'm sure if you've used a multimeter before, you know what kind of a hassle that is if you've got to use two hands to change to a different mode while you're using it. Uh, it has the usual assortment of buttons that you would expect to see and functions on a uh, mid-range multimeter. You can hold a reading. Uh, what really sets this one apart, though, is the Bluetooth mode. And you can uh, download an app on your smartphone, and that lets you uh, see the readings on the smartphone. So if you had an assistant with you, uh, you know they'd be able to see the readings that you're getting. And you're also able to store those readings. So the app really gives you a whole new dimension to using this multimeter, and uh, that's one of the reasons I like it. I am mostly using the meter for common household tasks. Uh, I use it to check continuity. I use it for checking voltages. Uh, as an example, I can just quickly show you the continuity checking capabilities of this. Uh, sometimes there's a delay between readings. If you're, if you're checking a lot of components right in a row, sometimes there's a little bit of a delay depending on the quality of the multimeter. So with this one, uh, we'll get it in the right mode here. Uh, there's no delay. I can, I can tap it as quickly as I can possibly tap it in quick succession and I get an accurate uh, indication of the continuity. Also, as far as checking a voltage, uh, it's going to default to AC, so I just uh, click the mode button to get in direct current. And then you can uh, see here that the reading is acquired very quickly, 3.79 volts for the cell. So for common tasks that I use it for, uh, very easy to use and very reliable. Now that I have the temperature probe, I've used that quite a few times. That's pretty handy. Uh, so I can't speak to all the more advanced functions that this has, but I can tell you this is IP67 waterproof, which is pretty handy. And uh, also it does have a stand, so if you need it to stand up, it can do that. Um, because it's waterproof, that means it has a secure back on it that has four Phillips head screws that you're going to have to remove in order to access the batteries. The batteries, uh, this uses four AAA batteries, and your fuses, your two fuses are right back here too, so they're very easy access. A little tricky getting this off though. This is a very small Phillips head, and uh, you also have got this one up here that goes through the, the stand. Uh, I don't know, it just seemed a little tricky to me to get these out. Uh, how tricky can it be to unscrew a Phillips head screw? Well, I don't know, maybe not that tricky, but you just have to be careful because this is, you know, if you screw this back up, if you strip a screw or you don't have it uh, securely screwed down, then you're not going to get the waterproof uh, protection that you should have. 
It has a very nice protective rubber casing around it and uh, it makes it very grippy. Um, I also like the fact that it has the name embossed on the side which just adds to the grippiness if you're holding it. Uh, so overall, very impressed with this. I'd never heard of the brand Southwire before, but it sure seems like a very good quality multimeter to me. And for my use, uh, it's more than I need, but uh, I'm happy to have this. Uh, and I'll also mention it does have a hanging strap here. It's magnetic. So if you're a HVAC technician, for instance, and you want to uh, hang this from a, a duct, a metal duct, while you're working, um, you know, you can easily do that. You just run this through, uh, and then that lets you hang this from a, a metal uh, duct or something. So overall, pretty impressed with this. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.